recording please excuse my voice because i'm very sick but i have a story about palestinian erasure that i think is very important right now hi girl i hope you get well soon meanwhile i have a story about reality that is going to offend you because facts don't care about your feelings I preface this video by saying dna tests are illegal in israel really don't care to discuss about your little conspiracy theory about dna i'll just say something really quickly next time you go on your little rant make sure you add germany france portugal and switzerland to your list that we can get dna testing chipped here just like you got a chip to your house we can do the same thing if you want to get a dna test done in israel you have to do it through a court order for reasons that don't matter and i don't actually care to explain to you you can go and find it all out yourself if you just step out of your little echo chamber a year ago i ordered a 23andme dna test not because i was unsure about my genetic like my ancestry but more so because i wanted to see like my relatives if i had health anything i wanted all the tests so i ordered like a deluxe package i sent them my spit and then i got my results back and I was extremely shocked when I opened my results. So I knew I was going to be 100% Arab. Um, but then when I opened it, it said that I was 100% Lebanese and Jordanian. And I know for a fact that I have no Jordanian ancestry. Sending your spit to a DNA test, have the results coming back only to say, I know for a fact I don't have these ancestors. First of all, insane. <laughs> crazy what's even crazier is to say i know for a fact i don't have an ancestry in jordan when this was the british mandate of palestine do you know what this area is jordan let me explain something to you when jordanian appears in your dna test result it means the testing company reference database includes genetic information associated with individuals from jordan or jordanian ancestry if your dna has similarities with the genetic markers found in the jordanian reference data the test may identify you as having connection to that region Genetic markers are inherited and passed down through generations, providing insight to ancestral origins and connections. It's important to note that the labels used in DNA tests, such as Jordanian, are broad categorizations based on available data and may not precisely correspond to modern political or national identities. I mean, the three countries used to be one, but they've done a pretty good job of figuring out, like, who hailed from which region ancestrally no these three never used to be one syria and lebanon were part of the french mandate called the mandate for syria and the lebanon so i was shocked when i found out that i was 100 percent lebanese and jordanian for context my dad is lebanese and my mom is palestinian for context your dad is lebanese and your mom should get a dna test actually i freaked out i was like oh my god if i not palestinian i would have been devastated i've seen your next video you say your mom had a palestinian passport and was born before 64. my mom was born before 64 had a palestinian passport i have two palestinian coins right here they say palestine on them according to that logic golda meir who also had a palestinian passport should have palestinian in her dna test but that's never gonna happen isn't it the fact your mom had a palestinian passport has nothing to do with her dna and then i started finding these articles of people who took the 23 and me dna test as palestinians and did not get palestine there are all these subreddits on Reddit about people sharing their tests, knowing that they're Palestinian, but getting either Egyptian, Jordanian, or Syrian. Oh my god. It's almost like they're getting what they are. I found this petition from 2020 to recognize Palestine in their DNA tests. You can't ask to recognize something in your DNA test. You can't ask that. According to your logic, Israeli should come up on my DNA test. Do you understand that? You genuinely don't get why you're wrong. I believe that the reason that they won't test Palestine is because they know ancestrally these people are not from this land. And instead of standing with the truth, 23andMe decided to just take out the entire country. This is a great example of disgusting erasure of the truth that Palestinian people belong to this land and have a right to return to the land that they are ancestrally from. My God. <laughs> I would love it if you could help me explain these Palestinian last names, yeah? al khwani Al-Masari, Al-Trabulsi, Al-Fayumi. I can keep going. All people who identify as Palestinian have immigrated to the land of Israel.
I know you don't like that. I know it doesn't align with how you identify. Which, by the way, you're allowed to. You're allowed to identify as whatever you want, and we are going to respect that. But you need to understand and accept actual history. You can't keep living in a delusion. The DNA test can't possibly be lying to you, can it? I highly recommend you to look up the Arab conquest. Please look up the history of Jordan, of Lebanon, of your actual ancestry. I'm not denying your mom was born here. I'm not denying Arabs lived here for a long time. I recognize and accept that. I'm not denying you identify as Palestinian. I'm not denying the Palestinian identity. But who isn't accepting actual history is you. Once you accept history for what it is, we'll be able to move forward. But as long as you keep living in an actual delusion, this will never ever end. The reason your DNA test doesn't say you're Palestinian is because Palestinians aren't genetically distinct from Lebanese Arabs or Jordanian Arabs. Being Levantine means you're a mix of all of these different peoples. Just because you don't agree with the science and with the genetics, it doesn't mean it's wrong.